about 30 years ago, I, I was a young intern at the Washington Post, 20 years old, and I, I was given this great assignment to go to Latrobe, Pennsylvania, and find out if, if the greatest dynasty in football history, the Pittsburgh Steelers, if it was finally done. And so I went there and met them. And they were all still there, all the stars. Met Franco Harris and Terry Bradshaw took me up to his dormitory room for an interview. They were a, a, an amazing, compelling uh, array of, of talents, but also of personalities. And that's where the seed for this book was planted because 30 years later, I, I found myself wondering, how are they today? What did it all mean? To me, the Steelers dynasty of the 70s is the greatest football team, at least since the Earth's crust cooled. But I think non-Steeler fans can, can go to this book and learn about a real brotherhood, what it means to be teammates in the truest sense. For, for 10 years and more in the pre-free agent era, these Steelers were together. And now they're, they're men in their middle 60s. Many of them are grandfathers. Some of them have paid physical prices for, for playing the game. But what resonates for them most is, is that that friendship, that brotherhood they shared. And, and I saw it. I, I saw it in the way Joe Green talked about the death of Dwight White. I saw it in the way uh, Rocky Blyer embraced Elsie Greenwood and from the back and Elsie Greenwood said, prune juice, how you doing? And I asked Elsie later, I said, prune juice? And he said, well, you know, O.J. Simpson was orange juice and Rocky didn't run quite as fast. You just see it in the way that these men look at each other and, and in their handshake and in their embrace that what they shared is really special. I think longtime Steeler fans will get to see this team as, as they've never seen it before, from the inside out. They'll get to be in the locker room with the Steelers. They'll get to be in the huddle with the steel curtain. And they'll get to see them now, decades later, and to see how they've changed.